this organization we've got a serpent. It's actually represent the Yawan people. Art, Aboriginal art, art painting, barks on trees, rocks, rivers. It does mean a lot. I'm going to have to be really careful how I do my artwork because artwork can be very cultural and it represents people and life. You know, I've got to be careful what I paint because the reason why is that is because I really can't paint another person painting. The paint, you know, the artists already have that knowledge when they're doing their artwork. They can say, yes, we can give this out. You know, they can even say no. So it can be a, for tourists. It can be a bit of everything, you know, art ex exhibition. We do have a lot of tourists that really take interest in our art. And it's just not just painting, but sculptures. I think it's, I'd say it probably support because, you know, um, some artists, they really like to, you know, share their artwork with others. So I think it's more their support. Uh, some Aboriginal people, they, you know, um, have that understanding of copy copyright, many don't. This is why we try to set up our local stores that can actually make sure that they are copyright, are protected, you know, and we support one of our um, annual festivals every year, Baranga. And we do get a lot of tourists when our festival, are, you know, so your it's festival been is not changing from the tourists? Not very much different, it's still the same. Yes, I believe. But like, you're right there, you know, it's true that um, because of all these television, video, all these stuff that are coming out now, you know, makes it very hard to, to make our, even kids, to try and get back into that nature, you know, to have the feelings for our animal, our plants, to make them understand, have that better understanding, because I believe nature has, you know, we, we're lucky to have, we should be really thankful. I don't know if you believe in religions, but, you know, I believe in, in God, and we could be thankful for Him, you know, being a creator. And just not talking about my dreaming, but you know, I believe that there is a God. And we could be thankful for Him for creating the beautiful things that we've got around us today, you know, plants, animals, river, mountains, yeah. The dreaming. Um, well, importantly, that's where our identity comes from. And it's important that we have our identity and many of our people, they lack of their identity now and, and, and I've explained earlier that we need to get our people, younger ones, back into their culture so that they can learn about their identity because it does fit in with our traditional land, culture, I've always had that at the back of my head, and uh, I'll never lose it. Wherever I go, I'll have my cultural knowledge protected for who I am and what I am, and that's very important to me. I've, I've lived in a community, but I've also got my traditional land that are not anywhere near the town, so um, I've always really want to get back home and you know and I do I do get back home and you know on my traditional land and you know but it's in a stage now where I'm going to try and get my kids back there and teach them about my traditional land being if myself being back home then I need to be expected to be culturally person not a city person and I need to show respect for my other family members when I do go and visit them in, in remote communities. I do show love for my people when I go back home.
and with the city where you work, it's different. I can balance it, mm, very important. But there's the difference between love, you know, you've got love where you show love for your husbands, wives, and then you, you could also balance that love with your children and family, other extended families. But not only your families, but people too, other people, promise marriage. It was part of the law and the culture that was actually in, in the family at that time. Is it still like this? In some areas, yes, still happening, but again, you know, with this government that are coming very hard on indigenous people, there's probably going to have to be a change. The laws are changing. Do you think it's needed in your culture or not? Um, I think now, not really. I think there need to be a balance. Women should have possibility to decide. I'm kind of, I really can't answer your question on this because it's really difficult for me now. I think every young people and organisation need to be strengthened now because we know there's cultural living, cultural activity are lacking and um, I really like to see that, you know, beside our organisation, other Aboriginal organisations should be coming together and strengthening our people with culture.